Hi, Terry Shaneyfeld for UAB School of Medicine. There are three main biases you need to think about when you read a screening study. I'll discuss one of them, lead time bias, in this video. We'll talk about what that means and how researchers can de design their study to prevent lead time bias. So let's look at the course of a typical disease. There's the biologic onset of disease, and it runs its course and then develops some outcomes. Now somewhere during this course, symptoms will develop and a diagnosis will be made of the disease. But prior to this, there's an asymptomatic phase where the patient has no idea they have the disease, but it has developed. And this is where screening occurs. Screening is the detection of asymptomatic disease. And the hope is that if you detect it earlier and there's effective therapy that you can improve the outcome of the disease. Well, let's talk about lead time bias. So lead time is the time between detection by screening and when symptoms would normally develop and the diagnosis is made. Now the problem with this is that if you start counting time of survival, and survival is the key here, from date of diagnosis, moving that date of diagnosis earlier makes survival of that disease appear longer even if treatment is ineffective. So let's look at this graphically. So we have an unscreened person. They have the onset of disease. Here's that asymptomatic phase. Here's where a symptoms develop and a diagnosis is made. And this green box is the time of survival, knowing you have that disease. And then ultimately, the patient dies. Well, if we take a screen population, but early treatment is not effective, what you can see here is that we've moved diagnosis earlier. That's what screening is supposed to do. So this green box of survival knowing you have disease looks bigger and looks longer but you can see here the date of death is exactly the same because treatment is not effective so we've made it look like the patient has lived longer but in fact all they've done is lived longer knowing they have the disease but they die still at the exact same time so this red bracket is representing lead time so lead time is this time right here from diagnosis um, by screening to when diagnosis would have occurred. And the way we get around lead time bias is we don't look at survival, but we look at age-specific mortality between the screened and unscreened groups. So when you read a screening study, you want to see that they looked at age-specific mortality rates and not survival. I hope this video has helped you understand what lead time bias is, but more importantly, the outcome that should be used in a screening study to prevent lead time bias. Remember, if you have any questions, you can contact me through the course website or through the contact me section of my blog. Have a great day.